are y'all ready for some fried chicken tonight but we gonna make some buttermilk fried chicken and tonight we're going to use some drumsticks so we're gonna go ahead and hook them up and these are still a little frozen but once i clean them i'm gonna go ahead and get all that sliminess off of it and then i also take this little yellow piece off right there the fat on the chicken it just drives me nuts y'all so yeah let's go ahead and get these cleaned up and then we'll be right back so the chicken is nice and clean we're gonna go ahead to the next step and go ahead and season it up kosher salt here it's gonna add just a little all right now with this um chicken and poultry rub i like it because it's not too it's really not salty at all so i really like to use this but you really got to add a little bit of salt with it i feel like it brings the flavor out a little bit more so i'm going to add some of that you know this way you can actually control all of your seasonings yourself because this is not like the regular seasonal where you know it got a ton of freaking salt in it. So I do like that about this. I'm going to add some mustard. Some onion powder. And you know with these drumsticks, you really got to season them. Make sure that seasoning go inside the leg because you'll have all of that seasoning on the outside, but then closer to the bone, it don't really taste like nothing. So always just try to make sure I put enough seasoning. And then with the buttermilk, I'm going to let it sit for a minute so it really can infuse all the way in there. Here we have some poultry seasoning. like to make sure i add enough of this because i don't normally season the flour so these seasonings that we're putting on here right now should be good to go a little bit of lemon pepper and i'm gonna add a little bit of hot sauce to this mix some smoked paprika oh that's pretty much gone we have nothing in there There you go. I'm gonna just use the rest of that up. Want well, nothing in that bottle. Let's go ahead and mix this up. And make sure you get that seasoning behind the skin. Because like I said, all of that seasoning need to get in the chicken down to the bone. And then we're going to let this just marinate for a minute after we put the buttermilk because this chicken is still cold. I wanted to get a little bit more room temperature before I put it in that grease. All right, so this is the buttermilk that we're using today. And I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to pour enough to go ahead and coat all over the chicken. And now if you want to do this the night before, you can do this the night before. But since we're making this right now, I don't have enough time to just marinate this overnight. This is some hot sauce that we had from Famous Dave's. Go ahead and use that up. Let's go ahead and get this chicken cooking. We're going to go ahead and add some oil to our pan. Yeah, I really wish that we still had our um, deep fryer. We got to get another one. So I'm still trying to decide if I want to do the double dip method. Where, you know, you take your chicken, put it in the flour, and then put it back in the dredge, put it back in the flour, and then in the grease. Or, should I just take it from here, in the flour, and in the grease? So, what do y'all do when y'all make y'all buttermilk chicken? Do you do it in that order? You do the double dip method, or you just single dip? <laughs> Comment down below. Now, I did forget to add one thing to this mix right here with some parsley. So, I'm just going to add it to the flour mix. Alright. And then to that, just going to add a tad of this poultry rub seasoning to the flour. And that's it. 
go ahead and get that a stir. Whip, 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 stir, stir, stir. So let's go ahead and start dredging the chicken. Y'all know y'all got to get your hands dirty for this whole frying of the chicken process. Make sure all that flour get all on the chicken. Yeah, I think I'm only going to do it just the one time. I'm not going to double dip it and all that today. Make sure they're nice and coated. And the stickier they are, you know, the better that they'll coat the chicken while they're frying. So don't worry if your hands is real sticky that mean you're doing it right and then as you're pulling that skin up pull it towards you so that way you know that the skin is stretched out because if not your skin gonna be all the way back here and you need the skin to be up here so that when you fry it you get that nice presentation look on it i'm gonna go ahead and see if this grease is ready And it is. Now, once you drop your chicken, don't touch it. Just let it fry up. That way, you get a nice crisp on it before you turn it. And these gonna take a while because they big, so don't rush them. Okay. So we just gonna let those cook for about three to four minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and flip it over. And I'm just flipping it again. And like I say, you're just going to keep flipping it until your chicken is done. And these are some big pieces, so I just want to make sure they're done all the way through. 